In this video, I'll teach you how to make these three PowerPoint presentations that are trending on social media in 2024. I'm using PowerPoint from Microsoft 365, so without further ado, let's get started. Now, I know how difficult it is to find cool fonts, graphics, or other assets to use in your presentations. So, before getting into the tutorials, I want to show you a very cool website that I use all the time. It's called Kittle.com, and this website has a ton of different templates designed by professional world-class graphic designers. There's everything and anything, from logos and book covers to invitations and more. I want to show you how you can use it as a way to source the best assets for your presentations. You start by browsing the gallery of pre-made designs. The cool thing is that one once you select one, everything will become editable. This means that you can edit the text, colors or graphics without needing to install or download anything externally. I'm making a Christmas presentation, so I need a very cool titled slide. I chose this design as a starting point for my own design. If you click on the artboard icon here and then click anywhere on the gray space, you'll insert a new artboard. For a presentation, just change the dimensions to 1920 by 1080 pixels and now you simply need to copy elements from your reference design and paste them into the new artboard. For example, I really love this illustration, so I'll just copy and paste them. Everything is customizable, so in this panel you can even change the colors of the illustrations. Just click on it and select a different one. For the text, I'll click on the panel on the left and use one of the predefined styles. I'll scroll down to the decorated section to browse for a new style. I think this one will work great, so I'll just select it to insert it. If you double click on it, you'll be able to edit the text, which is amazing because it keeps all the original effects. It's incredibly quick and easy. I think this would look great if I make it look like an old page from a book. So I'll click on the image icon on the left and look for a paper texture. I think this one will work. And it's already looking great, but what will tie everything together is if I also add a texture. So click on the texture icons here, then select your artboard and then just apply a texture like this one. Now, the only thing left to do is to download it as an image and to add it to your presentation and you're done. This looks amazing and it only took about five minutes to make. They offer a free plan that lets you work on up to 20 projects and they also have paid plans starting from $10 a month with features like commercial licenses and advanced AI features. I'll leave the link in the description box below along with the code to get 25% off any paid plan. So for the first one, we're going to start by changing the background color of our slide to black. Then you're going to go to shapes and select a donut. If you click on the middle of the slide, you'll be able to insert it and then holding control and shift on your keyboard, you can make it larger without distorting it. I just quickly align it to the middle and center of the slide. And then I'll just create a couple of rectangles like this. It doesn't matter that they're not aligned properly because you can just select everything, go to align, align to center and align to middle, and you have a shape like this one. Now, just make sure that everything is centered within the slide. Now you're gonna select everything, then go to shape format, go to merge shapes and click on fragment. Now let's get rid of a few shapes over here. So just select them and delete them with your keyboard. And now let's group back together the remaining pieces. So just select them all and then right click on it and select group. I'll quickly get rid of the outline by going to shape outline and selecting no outline. And I'll also change the color of the field to a dark gray. And then I'll just rotate it like this. Let's make it larger by holding control and shift on your keyboard and let's move it up like this. Now you can add a title and maybe a short description and you'll need to click two times to select this piece right here and then right click on it, select format shape and let's select a picture or texture fill. Here just click on insert and select one picture from your files and then uncheck the rotate with shape option. If you need to adjust your image, just go to picture format, click on crop and select fill. And now just select your slide, press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. And here you're gonna select the circle again and just rotate it again like this. And first let's select the shape with the image, go to shape fill and select the same dark gray. And now we'll select this one, again, right click on it, go to format shape, and we're gonna add a picture or texture field as well. So just click on insert to select your new image and then uncheck the rotate with shape option. If it looks a little bit stretched, again, click on crop and then on fill, and then just simply replace your text. Now you're gonna select the second slide, go to transitions and apply morph. So just continue with the rest of your slides and you'll have something like this. This looks so good that nobody will believe that it's PowerPoint. 
Now for the second trending presentation, we're gonna start inserting a stock image. Here I'll just look for a building and I think I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and select this one right here. And if you click on crop and then select aspect ratio, you can select 16 by nine. And that way, when you make it larger, it's gonna take the whole space of your slide. Okay, amazing. So you're gonna right click on it, go to format picture, and on this panel right here, you're gonna decrease the brightness. This is because I'll use a white text and I want it to stand out against the background. Now, you're gonna go to shapes and select a line. Holding shift on your keyboard to make a perfectly straight line, you're gonna drag your mouse from left to right like this. Let's change its color to white and also increase the weight of the stroke from this panel. And then you can add your title, which in my case is just a timeline. Okay, great. So now you can insert a new slide. And first we're gonna change the color of the background. So right click on it, click on format background and change the color to black. And here let's just add a date and your body text. For the date, I'm using the font Anton. And for the body text, I'm using the font Aptos. And let's also go to shapes and select a circle and just add it here to the middle of the slide like this. If you want to make sure that it's centered, just go to align and click on align to center. And now I'll just get rid of the outline and also change the color of the field to white. Okay, perfect. So I'll duplicate this slide with control D and on this slide, we'll just make a couple of changes. We're gonna change obviously the date. We're gonna move the circle up and then bring the content down a little bit like this. Now let's go back to the first slide, the one with the headline, and you're gonna go to insert, zoom, and select slide zoom. By holding shift on your keyboard, you can select multiple slides. So I'll just select these two and click on insert. I'll quickly arrange this thumbnail so the circle touches the line like this. And then with the thumbnail selected, you're gonna go to Zoom Tools. Let's get rid of the zoom border. So just click on No Outline and click on Zoom Background. So the actual background of the thumbnail becomes transparent. I'm going to repeat the process with the other thumbnail like this. Again, click on Zoom Border, No Outline, and then click on Zoom Background. And I'm just gonna repeat the process. You need to create a new slide per date just remember that you need to alternate the slides. So on one slide, it's gonna be at the top and on the other one, it's gonna be at the bottom. And once you've inserted them to the main slide, just select them all, click on align and click on distribute horizontally. So they're evenly distributed. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get this awesome effect in PowerPoint. Now for the last one, we're gonna start inserting an image. In this case, is messy on the left-hand side. And I'm just gonna go to picture format, click on crop and change the crop handle to the middle of the slide like this. This kind of slide works perfectly if you need to make a comparison. And on the right hand side, you're gonna add your second image, which in this case is Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, you're gonna go to picture format, crop and change the crop handle to align to the middle of the slide. And now you're gonna go to shapes and select a pie shape. To insert it, just click anywhere on the slide. And let's make sure that it's aligned within the center and the middle of the slide. So go to align, align to center, and align to middle. And now holding control and shift on your keyboard, you're gonna make it larger like this. Okay, amazing. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see better, but you're gonna rotate the shape like this. If you drag this handle right here, you'll be able to make the gap larger. And first I'm gonna increase the weight of the outline. I think this will look great once I add my color, which in this case, I think I'll pick a lighter blue. And then for the shape feel, I'm just gonna pick a darker blue. Now on the right hand side of the image, you can add your text and then you're gonna select the slide and duplicate it with Ctrl D. And on this slide, you're gonna select the circle and just rotate it until we see the other image. And now on this slide, we just need to make a couple of changes. We'll obviously change the color of the shape. So I'll pick a red and a green for the outline. Here, add your content to the left-hand side. And then with the second slide selected, go to transitions and click on morph. And that's it guys, that's how you make this awesome presentation in PowerPoint. These are three designs that are currently trending on social media. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Check out these other two tutorials, I think you might like them. I'll see you soon.